Well, tomorrow night, Cathedral, Cathedral City native Timothy Desert Storm Bradley will step into the ring against Manny Pacquiao, trying to take away his WBO welterweight crown. He's got all of the desert cheering for him. KMIR 6's Anthony Alvarez is live in Las Vegas, where he is following the big fight. Anthony. Elizabeth, I'm standing literally about right across the freeway from the MGM Grand. There's a lot of excitement in this town. You know it. There's casinos, there's shows, all kinds of good stuff. But there's really a huge crowd of energy going on at the MGM Grand Arena. Now, I walked into the arena, and I just saw a sea of fans all wearing Pacquiao shirts. You know, I'm trying to look to see if I can find anyone for Team Bradley. And then as soon as Bradley walked on, on came all the boos. People were just booing him. You know, they're not happy to see him. They're all for Manny Pacquiao. But he stepped on the scale. He made his weight. And then what he did was as soon as he did the double bicep pose, he flexed. He let the people know, hey, I'm here. I'm fierce. He looks good. He's shredded. He has a lot of muscle. Pacquiao stepped up. He weighed in. He also made weight. He's about the same weight, maybe just one pound more. But you compare the two boxers side by side, obviously, Bradley looks a lot more bulkier. He looks a lot stronger. And right now, we, let's take you down to the Grand Arena. We have that story. We were there earlier today. Hundreds of people packed the MGM Grand Arena. No telling how many support Bradley or Pacquiao. With music playing, Tim Bradley walked in. You can tell by the look on his face that he means business. Soon after, Manny Pacquiao walks in with a smile and cheers began. But then cheers turned booze when Bradley stepped on the scale. Bradley made weight, and so did the Pac-Man. In the lobby, we found a group of Bradley fans from Cathedral City. I think uh, Tim Thiel pulled off. Yep. Decision. Decision? Decision, yep. We also spotted local boxer Antonio Diaz in the crowd. I've been booed many times. Tim Bradley got booed in England. And what happened? He came back with the uh, world title. Okay, I think that pumps him up more. Although Bradley carries more muscle, Pacquiao fans remain confident with their Filipino hero. Um, Bradley is like a younger version of Pacquiao when he was hungry and everything, but it's just going to be like a father beating his son. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously he had he had he had jokes right there. It was pretty funny. Uh, but anyway, you know what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the MGM Grand Arena. We're going to talk to a few more fans. We're going to see what the strategy is here. Do they think Pacquiao is going to take it? Do they think Bradley's going to take it? We're going to go and see. And also, let's see if we can get some more predictions because some people are saying three, some people say nine. So, Gino, Elizabeth, back to you. Anthony, I want to ask you: uh, those boos have got to affect him. You've interviewed him several times. How is his mood today compared to the other times that you've met him? I think it's the same, you know, it's like Bradley knows that not everyone's going to like him, but I think he's just so zeroed in, he is so focused on what he has to do that he's not really paying attention to it. I think what he wants to do is, is he wants to surprise everyone. He loves being the underdog, just okay. So what he does is he encourages the boos and he says, okay, boo me now, but when it comes down to it, you're going to see who the real champion is. And I think he has zero distractions, you know, Pacquiao's got his religion beliefs going on right now, pondering whether or not he should continue b boxing, but uh, Bradley is just all about, you know, he can go nowhere but up from here. Even a lose for him will do him one loss to Manny Pacquiao. I mean, come on, have that on your fight record? Not bad. So from here on, I just see Timothy Bradley just soaring into boxing stardom. And uh, Pacquiao, on the other hand, if he loses to this one, he does have the rematch clause. Gets in there with Bradley again. I think this might be a ploy to get Pacquiao and Mayweather to fight. We're just going to see how this one turns out. We're live in Las Vegas. Anthony Alvarez, back to you. All right, Anthony Alvarez, we'll check in with you later tonight. And, of course, again tomorrow as the Valley gets ready for the you know big it. fight.